welcome back to school of civil engineering this is Allah with another new tutorial series actually um, till our previous lecture we have completed all of our steel structure design and I've shown you that how we'll design uh, how we'll find out uh, the proper section for it okay so everything I have shown you and uh, that's playlist are also given in description now after completing steel structure design you know that there are very very mandatory things that we have to design connections okay so ETAPs are providing us that facility to design connection okay so in this lecture I'm just going to show that how we'll design our steel structure connection okay so if you're new to our channel then I'll request to please watch our previous lecture that are given in description and also subscribe us and uh, don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first because your subscription and your support always inspire us for the next work so first of all I'll open our ETAP software so that is our ETAP software and uh, I have created um, a structure okay where I have completed our steel connection uh, I mean our so that uh, all process of design and uh, analysis and final making our model perfect for our connection design that uh, list are given in description there I have um, designed everything about it and also have uh, shown you that how to create a steel uh, stair okay and here I, I um, do not draw any steel stair but uh, in that lecture I have drawn a steel stair so now the question is how will design our connection okay so to design connection first of all we'll go ahead design then and um, before design connection just listen me carefully before design connection you have to design everything about column design you have to design column you have to design beam uh, primary beam then composite beam you have to design everything right so after designing ev after design everything after that you have to go for connection design so already I have done that everything and that uh, playlist are also given in description so first of all I'll go design then I will go ahead steel connection design so first of all I will just click here view first of all I will uh, go ahead select design combination so I'll click here and here is our design combination if I click here you can show this is 1.4 dead load and this is 1.4 into dead load then uh, here the another one it's showing combo 1.2 dead load plus 1 uh, live load then 1.2 uh, super dead load plus on earthquake y so here the earthquake xy wind xy here wind xy and every data are available here actually okay so everything is available here now our this combination are also okay so when our combination is okay actually in e tabs we can design three types of connection okay only three types of connection we can design so if we go here view slash revise preferences so here you can see that we can design beam to beam connection then beam to column connection then column footing connection okay i mean base plate connection so here the beam to beam connection and in beam to beam connection we can design three types of element this is the particle plate this is the full vertical plate full means so suppose they have beam to beam so a beam will connect with that beam and here it will take full option i mean full place to design okay it will take full plate to design here right so here it will take that like that so this the full plate after that they have vertical plate okay here vertical partial suppose your beam is not your uh, the that beam okay beam to beam connection means that beam is not same size of that uh, beam okay then it will design as a partial after that it will design horizontal when it will take horizontal okay and they have they have the condition for full the plate depth shape when it will take full okay use horizontal plate for beam auto mode uses shiro below they have a option this is uh, auto mode automatically it will select just hit the condition use horizontal plate for beam when the uh, plate is less than 250 millimeter you can change that as per your requirement if you need 
and use a partial plate when it will take partial plate partial uh, plate for beam okay when the thickness is 250 I mean uh, the depth of beam okay depth of beam is 250 I mean uh, greater than or equal to 250 then it will use as partial so there are three options this is the for partial it will take partial and uh, full when the both sides are full I mean same and horizontal when when our it will uh, design as a horizontal plane when our that section of our beam okay that section of our beam and that section of our beam having a uh, depth difference okay depth difference more than two right more than two I mean uh, uh, its depth will be less than half of that depth then it will design as a vertical horizontal plane after that and they have some uh, option you can design bolt type which types of bolt you want to uh, assign so this is the bolt type after that that is the bolt size the, the bolt size okay uh, it is 32 millimeter that means 32 mm size of bolts you can uh, change that as per your requirement so I'm not I'm just uh, showing you that say I'm not going to do that then the hole type okay this is the hole type see you can uh, also change that after that then um, there is the welded materials okay welded materials so uh, here is the welded materials option so you can uh, change that as per requirement there is the weld thickness there is the welded thickness actually uh, first of all we will take default and the plate materials this is the uh, is still great we have selected 50, 50 that's why it's 50 then uh, plate thickness that is the what is the thickness of uh, your plate that will I mean your uh, connection plate so the every data is given here you can change that as per your requirement okay this is uh, here I will just click here so you can uh, change that as per your requirement but first of all I will design then I will change if need otherwise I will do not change anything and here is the design code actually okay after that is the beam column connection okay for beam column connection there are, there are four types of connection this is uh, beam column is the column and uh, if the beam if if our beam is uh, I just want to show you something there's the flange and web that's there's a flange and web so uh, it's depend on where our uh, another uh, uh, beam is connecting with column is it connecting with web or is it connecting with flange so it's depend on that okay so they have beam column beam column share major axis beam column share major axis this is their uh, beam column that will work as a share then beam column share as a minor axis okay beam column share as a minor axis then there's a, a beam column moment here beam column moment as a major axis and beam column moment as minor axis okay so beam column moment as minor axis so it's depend on which types of uh, connection working and it will everything will take automatically okay everything will take automatically and you can change anything from here what you record actually so uh, when it's done and we can change anything from here actually as per your requirement after that so this is uh, the four types of connection that can be designed and the final is column footing design I mean base plate design so here's the base plate design so here's the plate thickness okay this is the plate thickness 25 mm then uh, minimum width okay n minimum then 250 all right then here's the n actually okay from that point to that point i mean that that uh minimum width of that plate okay then uh the minimum height b minimum this is that side okay 
this is that side and uh, here everything is available the anchor rod size what will be the anchor rod size this is actually a uh, m25 main 25 millimeter here actually okay so this is the grade of um, ball size 20 then 22 this is as per aisc american institute of steel construction code okay so here's the another uh, length okay acf minimum right so and um, here this is the welded thickness so it is the welded thickness actually here we have to this is the base plate okay this is the plate and with that plate we have to weld our that connection okay without that connection so uh, I will show you that in our another lecture actually uh, when I have uh, if you are connected to my channel then you know that uh, at the time of Tecla connection designer I mean at the time of using of Tecla connection designer software then they have a good visualization of that materials okay they have a very good visualization of the a, a, about every connection okay we can see everything perfectly so there I have discussed about that and uh, I think if you are already connected with me then you know that uh, where we have to do at the time of base plate connection then beam to beam connection then uh, beam column connection okay so uh, when it's done okay when it's done after that uh, when you have understand everything about it and uh, actually I think uh, if you are and every value here every value are given here actually every value are given here actually and I'm uh, sure that if you're a civil engineer and if you have a good knowledge about steel connection design or if you have a good knowledge about steel structure design then you know that um, about every terms you're already well known so I'll just simply click OK so everything is OK actually change the overall preferences will reset overall uh, do you like to continue no uh, i do not to change anything actually i will uh, take the first of all default i will analysis default and then i will go for it so when it's done when we have done everything about it okay so after that we'll go for our connection design so simply we'll click at design then we'll go here still connection design so here i'll click at a start design or check so i'll simply click here start sorry uh we have to i'll use still connection design i'll start to redesign okay actually uh previously i have designed that that's why um it's subscribed only two point so i'm going to again design that about every connection so it's designing and uh, wait for some time please so see here actually this is the data I will just remove our floor floor and wall apply then okay now I'll go first of all I'll go plan S3 5 apply so here now how will understand that where your design is okay or not okay so actually uh, already our video are being very lengthy that's why I'm just going to finish now here and you know next lecture i'll show you about everything that how we'll take that our uh, connection is okay or not and if not okay then how we'll pass that okay so thank you thank you very much and uh still stay connected till next video and if you think that that is helpful for you then must subscribe to our channel and uh, press the bell icon and must like our video and share our video so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video